So let's continue with the stack and queue playlist. Today we're starting off. Avery, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is the celebrity problem. So what is the problem stating? It's stating that you will be given a n cross n matrix where the matrix will have values 0 and 1 in it. So also it means that you have n people with you and the people are numbered 0, 1, 2 and 3. So what is the matrix representing? So if I take this particular value which is the value at the index 0, 2 is 1. It means that the person 0 is knowing the person 2, not 1, 2. Does it mean that 2 knows 0? It, it may know, it may not know. For that, what I'll have to do is, I'll have to look at the value 2, 0. And if I look at the value 2, 0, the vice versa is not true. 2 doesn't know 0, 2 doesn't know 0. Got it? What is the matrix representing? Now, your task is to figure out the celebrity over here. Your task is to figure out the celebrity over here. Now, what is the definition of celebrity? Everyone should know him. Everyone should know him. But he should know no one. Like He should be knowing no one. So who is the celebrity over here? Hey, you're right. I'm the celebrity. I'm just kidding. But who is the celebrity over here? Can I say this, that? The celebrity is the person one. Why? So if you carefully observe, the person one doesn't know anyone. Doesn't know anyone. Okay. But, but, everyone knows the person one. How do you figure that out? Zero knows the person one. Two knows the person one. Three knows the person one. Okay. Thereby, the celebrity is the person one. And that is what you will be returning. Got it? So, how do I solve this particular problem? Like, what is the naive approach? So, I know one thing for sure. Anyone who is a celebrity, how many people would know him? Can I say, the person that would be knowing the celebrity, yes, will be n minus 1 people. Because if there are n people, everyone else would be knowing me. That is n minus 1. Okay. And I should be knowing, can I say that? I should be knowing 0 people. I don't know anyone. And if you carefully observe, the entire diagonal is 0. The entire diagonal is 0. Because 1 and 1, like, I cannot know myself. Like, that's idiotic, right? So, the entire diagonal is Zero. So if if for any person, the person who know me, like the number of people who know me is n minus one, and the number of person I know is zero, I think my job would be done. But I need to know these values for how many people? For n people. So what I will be doing is I know there are four people. So I'll be defining two arrays. Yes, I'll be defining two arrays. So I could go ahead and define two arrays. Zero, one, two, zero, one, two. And this is going to be zeroth index, first index, second index, third index. And I could call this as the know me array. How many people know me? And how many people I know? Perfect. So now since I have the know me array and I know array, what I can do is I can start traversing. Yes, I can start traversing in the n cross n matrix. And what is the first value? Zero. Doesn't signify anything. What is the next value? One. So I know that one is known by someone. So I could increase the value to one. The person one is known by someone. And now 0 knows someone. Can I say 0 knows someone? Yes. Perfect. After that, the person 2 is also known by 0. So the person 2 is also known by 0. 0 knows in total 2 people. 2 people. After that, there is a 0. Okay. There is a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And there is a 1. So when there is a 1, can I say, the person 1 is known by one more person. And at the same time, the person 2 does know... 1, so I could increase it. After that, there's a 0, 0. Then there's a 3 of 0. That means 0 is known by someone. That means 0 is known by someone. And the person 3 knows someone. After that, I, I have one more 1. Right? Which is 3 knowing 1. So I could go ahead and increase this value to 3. And I can say that the person 3 also knows 2 people. And then there's a 0, then there's a 0. Perfect. And, and, and I'm done. And you could just insert 0 in other values. Now, if you carefully observe, the person 3 knows 2 people. And you have kept it. Right? The person 1 is known by 3 people. And you have that. 
So you have your array ready. All you need to do is you need to check who has who has the value as n minus one and and the zeroth value. And when you iterate through, you see that this particular person, this particular person one, is known by three people, and he knows no one. So he is your celebrity. There might not be a celebrity, but if there is one, you can return that value. So I can return one over here. Now you might have a question: Can there be multiple celebrities? That is something that I'll prove that there cannot be. There can be either one celebrity or no celebrity. So I'll explain you that as well. But if we're doing that, maybe I can just super quickly write down the pseudo code. So we have a function. The function will be given a matrix. So you could end up taking a matrix. We need a couple of arrays. So maybe you could just figure out the size and you could say that, okay, how many people know me? So you could have a know me array, which is of size n. And how many people I do know? So you could have a I know array of size n. And make sure they are initialized to zero by default. After that, what you could do is you could straight away traverse in the matrix from i to n minus one, and from j equal to zero till n minus one. And every time it is yes, every time the matrix is having a value one. All you need to do is because j is known by someone, j is known by someone. So j is known by someone. So you could just go and do a plus plus. And I now know someone, so I know someone. So plus plus, that's it. That will generate your know me array and I know array. Once that is generated, what is your next task to check? Yes. So you'll traverse and you'll say i equal to zero to till n minus one people. And if any of them remember this, if any of them has like how many people know me? That should be n minus one. And and. How many people should I know? That should be equal to equal to zero. If this is true, you could end up returning the value i. That's it. Otherwise, you end up returning minus one, and you complete your function. That's it. So if I have to analyze the time complexity, it is super simple. We are iterating through the matrix, so that is an n square, and then we have a space complexity of b go of Actually, it is a big of n square plus n because we are doing one more iteration over here. We have a space complexity of big of 2n. We need to optimize this. This is where the interviewer will not be happy and will ask you to optimize it. So we need to optimize our previous solution. In the previous solution, what I was doing was I was going through each and every element and I stored like how many people know me and I know how many people I stored it. I need to avoid that method. How can I avoid that? Before getting into that discussion, if I ask you, how many minimum celebrities you can have, you know the answer. That is zero. Why? Because if the matrix is filled with all ones, you can never have a celebrity. Because the definition of celebrity is known by all, knows no one. That is the definition of celebrity. He's known by all, but he. Doesn't know anyone. That's definition. So, what is the maximum number of celebrities you could have? Yeah, the answer is one. Can you have two celebrities? No, you cannot. Why? Imagine you have two celebrities, X and Y. What is the definition of a celebrity? The definition is he cannot know anyone. I cannot know anyone. But everyone should know him. Everyone should know him. If everyone knows him, how can the other person be a celebrity? Because the definition of celebrity is he knows no one, so why cannot be a celebrity? So at max, there can be just one celebrity at max. Okay, so I know what. So I know for a fact that I do have a celebrity from zero till n minus one. There is a celebrity between somewhere between zero to n minus one, and I'm gonna take advantage of it. How? Let's understand. So what I'll do is I'll start my top. Like I'll keep my top pointer at the first person. I'll keep my down pointer, or you can call it as bottom as well, whatever you you want to call. So I'll keep my bottom uh, pointer at the last person, which is three, and I'll check. Hey, I'm at zero. I'm at three. Now tell me who cannot be a celebrity? Who cannot be a celebrity? I'm like, okay, I'll check it across. Zero. Does he know three? Let's check it out. Zero. Does he know three? No, he doesn't know three. 
Now it doesn't know three. Okay. So if it doesn't know three, that means zero doesn't know anyone. So zero may be a celebrity. Maybe. Let's check check out the other way. Does three know zero? I check it out that yes, three knows zero. So I'm very sure that this person three cannot be a celebrity because a celebrity cannot know anyone. So I can actually end up, you know, saying that three cannot be my celebrity. Thereby, I'll check with, so I'll eliminate three. He's, he cannot be a celebrity. So I've eliminated it. Perfect. So once I've done this, can I say that the value of down will be two? I'm checking between zero and two. Just to do the elimination. So when I'm at zero, I'm checking, does zero know two? I'm like, zero knows two. <laughs> zero cannot be my celebrity. He cannot know anyone. He cannot know anyone. So zero cannot be my celebrity. So I could also eliminate, yes, I could also eliminate zero. Okay. So I'm standing at one and I'm standing at two. Let's check it out. So I have a one, I have a two. So if you carefully observe, one doesn't know two. So one can be a celebrity. Let's check out two. Two. Does two know one? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So two cannot be a celebrity. So you said two cannot be a celebrity. So you eliminate it. You eliminate it. And you take it across over here. So eventually, the top pointer and the bottom pointer will be pointing to a particular person. And in this case, that person is one. In order to confirm that this is, you know, this is the celebrity, what you will be doing is you'll be scanning through the entire, yes, you'll be scanning through the entire row, and that should be entirely zero. And you should be scanning through the entire column apart from the, you know, the diagonal one. Everyone should be one. All of them should be one. Because known by all and knows no one. And once you've done that, I think your job is done. You know that the person one is your celebrity. If the condition doesn't meet, he is not your celebrity. Very simple. I just ended up doing an elimination. I just ended up doing a check. So let's quickly write down the pseudo code. It's going to be super simple. I'll take a function. So the function takes matrix. And what we have is a top, which is initially pointing to zero. What we have is a down, which is initially pointing to n minus one. You can compute the n by doing a matrix dot size. And I will be eliminating till I have persons left. So top lesser than down. And what I'll be checking is, hey, matrix of, does the top no down? Does the top no down? And if that is the case, that will be equal to equal to one. And if the top knows him, top surely cannot be my celebrity because a celebrity cannot know anyone. Okay. Else if, I'll check, hey, Else if, does the down no top? If the down no stop, which means my down cannot be a celebrity. What's the other case? What if both of them are zero? Which means A doesn't know B, or rather the top doesn't know down. And the down doesn't know top. Can I say this? And if that is the case, both of them cannot be a celebrity because Someone has to know either of them. That is the definition of celebrity, right? He's known by everyone. So I could say that neither of top, neither of down is my celebrity. Perfect. At the end, yes, at the end, if, if, if top has exceeded down, like you're not standing at a single person, you don't have a celebrity. You don't have a celebrity. But if you're standing at a single person, it's better to have a check. I equal to zero till n minus 1 and you basically say hey, okay I'm going to check out the entire matrix so which is going to be I'm currently at top so basically when this while loop ends and if this condition is not met top will be equal to down so you could take literally any one of them so matrix of top of i what is this I'm typically checking for the entire row if everyone in the row is 0 you're perfect. You're perfect. Right? And, and matrix of I, which means you're checking for every column, which means you're checking for every column. I of top. So you could just simply do it. 
and if this is one it's okay it's okay but otherwise you say return minus one this cannot be your celebrity as simple as that please make sure if it is a diagonal if it is a diagonal which is i equal to equal to top you don't check for it because in diagonal in diagonal the value will be zero you don't check for it so make sure you write this condition that's it and at the end of the day if it reaches here the top or down you could return anyone that is your celebrity so we have to determine the time complexity i'm just doing elimination at max i'll have n persons eliminated after that i'm doing another check of b go of n so i could say that the time complexity is b go of 2n and the space complexity is b go of 1 because i'm not using any external space and this will be the most optimized approach so we're still now watching and if you've understood everything please please do consider giving us a like and if you're new to our channel do consider subscribing to us as well with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's finish our the video till the bye take care whenever your heart is broken